Well, uh, a message of alarm, a message of concern, a message of optimism, a message of uh, distance that has to be traveled before we uh, find a path that will leave the kind of uh, globe that we want to uh, for our children and our grandchildren. I have a grandson that's uh, three and a half years old. Uh, if he lives 88 years, he'll see the next century. So it's become very personal with me. Uh, I have uh, two other granddaughters and uh, they have a lot to face. Uh, I have a lot to concern about for their future. Uh, it's my commitment to try to do what I can, uh, both as a father, a grandfather, and certainly a mayor of my town in Arkansas. Well, I'm, I'm encouraged in, in many respects. I'm encouraged that uh, Secretary of State Clinton uh, several years ago created an office of intergovernmental within the U.S. State Department to specifically deal with state and local governments. Uh, perhaps for the first time, uh, there are three of us, uh, two mayors and uh, one county official, who are part of the official U.S. delegation uh, to represent local government. Uh, I think we all know that over half the world's population live in cities uh, on the way to two-thirds uh, in the next 30, 40 years. Now, 82 percent of the population of the United States live in urban areas. We're at seven billion on the way up to nine billion by the middle of the century. Uh, the math uh, does not add up for us to live the way we have. And I actually believe we can live better, we can have a higher quality of life, uh, we can be more productive, uh, we can enjoy tomorrow, but we're going to have to change. And what Rio uh, plus 20 plus this Congress have done is gather together people of uh, uh, all over the world uh, and uh, the commitments that are made are inspiring from cities that have uh, success stories uh, and it allows us to carry those success stories back to our own respective countries. I know I've been working on things in North Little Rock for a number of years. Uh, I feel very strongly that our life is better in our city uh, and it can only improve, but we're going to have to work together to find ways to do that. Well, you know, 54.6 square miles is what I have responsibility for. I've been the mayor for 23 and a half years. Uh, you know, while I may not be able to have a significant impact globally, uh, as an individual, I do have an opportunity to have significant impact as a growing army of people who are committed to finding a right path for the world. But I can say that my 54.6 square miles, uh, as long as I'm mayor, uh, every day I'm going to work toward to make that, that area better. And certainly the area in central Arkansas that I live. And we've made significant progress. So the only thing that I can tell you for sure is that I'm not going to stop uh, many of my colleagues are not going to stop. The U.S. Conference of Mayors, the National League of Cities, local government is where the action is. It's also where the responsibility lies, and we're going to have to be a part of a bigger picture, like we're going to have an opportunity in, uh, in Rio Plus 20 as part of the U.S. delegation to continue to carry the message that together we can have an opportunity to make an impact, we can make a difference. But local government has to be a part uh, of the action. We need a seat at the table. Uh, we're increasingly being given one. And I want to certainly compliment uh, Secretary of State Clinton, uh, Rita Jo Lewis, who is the Special Representative for Intergovernmental, and the work that we're doing in making sure that state, federal, and local governments are a part of a team and part of a future that's going to be brighter for all of us. But we can't wait. We can't stop. And, and whether we make significant successes or whether we make one step at a time, uh, those steps have to be taken, and we're committed to doing it.